so up to this we cover the basic idea i hope you people got what is overloading and what is overriding now what are various differences between overloading and overriding can you spell out all differences like if entry person is going to ask then we should be in a position to answer okay let me take a small tabular form here with respect to which property you want to compare or you want to differentiate property first column second column overloading first column is the property second column overloading the third column overriding property overloading overriding look at this first point method and names if you consider method and names what about method and names in overloading method and names must be same compulsory the method and names must be same better to take must be same method and names must be same and even overriding also must be same must be same second one what about argument types what about argument types argument types types can you can you spell out what about argument types in overloading must be different at least order at least order suppose m1 of int i comma float f is there at least order compulsory should be different m1 of float f comma int i are you getting at least order so here argument types must be must be different better to take must be different at least at least order within bracket spell out but what about overriding must be same compulsory parent class and child class method should have same name and the same arguments must be same within bracket including order must be same within bracket including order okay now you people may be aware method and names and arguments this combination is by default considered as method signature are getting method signature is nothing but method name and argument types so what about method signatures what about method method signatures in overloading method signature because of different argument types method signatures must be must be different must be different method signatures must be different but what about overriding must be must be same must be same okay this is the third point anyway so method names argument types method signatures are same now the next point take a bit very special care what about return type what about return return type in overloading methods may have different return types also maybe same return type different return type there are no restrictions at all for the return type concept that's why no restrictions no restrictions if you want you can take same return type or if you want you can take different return type also there is no problem at all but what about overriding ha uh, in overriding return types must be same but here one small twist is there you people should identify in overriding return types must be same return types must be same suppose if my parent class method contain public object m1 like i have parent class method in the child class compulsory the return type should be object only okay should be object only right but uh, this rule is applicable until 1.4 version from 1.5 version onwards there is one special concept covariant covariant return types are allowed 
covariant return types are yellow. Then immediately I ask, sir, what is the covariant return type? The child class method return type need not be same as parent method return type. Na? It's a child types also allowed. Here instead of object, happily you can take string also. Or you can take string buffer also. Like the child class method return type need not be same as parent method return type. It's a child types also allowed. Is it clear for all of you? But this facility came from which version onwards? 1.5 version onwards, right? This type of return types are called covariant return types. Is it clear, right? Okay, this is Now, so in overloading, what about return type? No restriction. If you want, you can take same or if you want, you can take different. But what about overriding? Must be, better to take, must be same. So there is a small relaxation, small flexibility is there from 1.5 version onwards. What is that one? Covariant return types, right? Next point, make sure. So, what about private methods? Or what about static methods? And the final methods. Private, static, final methods. Na? Private method, overloading, is it possible or not? Yes. For static method, overloading applicable. For final methods, overloading applicable. That's why eh? overloading concept applicable for private static and final method can be overloaded no problem at all can be overloaded no issue at all but what about overriding here make sure very important parent class private method not available to the child that's why overriding concept not applicable for private method next up for static method even though you can take same static method it is method hiding but not overriding that's why so for static also overriding not applicable for final if a parent class method declared the final pass parent implementation in the final we can't change that's why so overriding not applicable for final methods right can be overloaded but cannot be cannot be overridden but cannot be overridden look at this is can be overloaded but cannot be overridden okay like Next point, what about access modifiers? What about access, access modifiers? If the parent class method is the public, so can I overload public method as the private or not? Can I overload public method as the protected or not? For access modifiers, no restrictions in overloading. No restrictions, no restrictions in overloading. But uh, what about overriding concept? Make sure the most valuable point you people should have clear idea right. If the parent class method is the public, public, what is about child class method? Compulsory child class method should be public only. No alternative at all. If the parent class method is, okay, default. If the parent class method is default, what is about child class method? So, yeah, what rule first? While overriding, we can't reduce scope of access modifier. We can't, we can't, vacaring access specifier scope is nothing but not allowed. We can't reduce, if you want, you can increase. So, default means we can take either default or next level protected or next level public. And, uh, increasing is allowed, but uh, decreasing is not allowed. Next up. If for the parent class method is the protected, compulsory child class method should be protected, protected or public. Public. Are you getting? So while overriding the scope of access modifier, we can't uh, decrease, but we can increase. No problem at all. Suppose if the parent class method is the private, what about so child class method? Make sure overriding concept not applicable for private method are you getting that okay this so while overriding we can't reduce the scope of access modifier but we can increase no problem at all this is the point about access modifiers right i hope you can able to understand next the point here throws a class throws throws a class related to exception and right 
throws a class if the what about overloading is there any restrictions related to throws class is nothing ma i'm sure there are no restrictions right there are no restrictions na related to throws class no constraints no restrictions in overloading but what about overriding this point is also very important terminology make sure you people should have clear clarity suppose parent class method parent class method i have one method is there public void m1 okay so child class method public void m1 is there the rule here is if a child class method throws throws any checked exception if a child class method throws any checked exception compulsory parent class method should throw the same checked exception or its a parent okay so parent class method should throw either same checked exception either same checked exception or its a parent also no problem at all that is the rule so if a child class method throws any checked exception compulsory parent class method should throw the same checked exception or its a parent right okay this is so that is the rule then immediately you may ask sir what about unchecked exception make sure for unchecked exceptions in overriding no rule no restrictions right are you able to understand right related to throws keyword okay this is so in overloading no restriction but in overriding is nothing ma if child class method throws some checked exception compulsory parent class method should throw the same checked exception or its a parent right okay this is next one okay method or resolution method or resolution method or resolution at the point method resolution so do you know in overloading method resolution is always takes care by compiler compiler that's why overloading is also known as static polymorphism like method resolution is always takes care by compiler based on reference type okay this always takes care by compiler based on better to take at the point always takes care by always takes care by always takes care by compiler always takes care by compiler based on based on reference type always takes care by compiler based on reference type based on reference type type next other side so in overriding who is going to take care about method resolution always takes care by jvm based on run time object at always takes care by always takes care by jvm always takes care by jvm jvm based on run time object based on run time object based on run time object object okay this is next one ninth one okay make sure this point is also a bit very very important point overloading also known as is there any other word for overloading yes boss is there any other word overloading also known as compile time polymorphism compile time polymorphism r r static polymorphism better to take compile time polymorphism also known as eight point also known as compile time polymorphism r static polymorphism compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism r early binding or early early binding compile time polymorphism or static polymorphism or early binding next other side so overriding also known as run time polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism yeah yeah run time polymorphism or dynamic polymorphism or late binding or late late binding that's all so in the interview room if interview person is going to ask what is the difference between 
over loading and over riding we should be in a position to give left hand right to the entry person i hope almost all differences we covered so what about meta names argument type signature return type what about access modifier throws keyword next up when the method resolution is going to be happen and so on okay this one but uh, if you observe the total thing in overloading so meta names must be same arguments must be different except these two all the remaining no restrictions have you observed what about return type what about access modifier what about throws class there are no restrictions right here there are no restrictions restrictions uh, except a method and name and the argument types but what about uh, overriding everything we have to consider compulsory return type there is a big rule is there throws keyword there is a rule is there access modifier there is a big rule is there that's why eh? so in overriding everything we have to take care are you getting right better to take this point note that's all so it is the most valuable important question what is the difference between overloading and overriding i hope all possible differences you can aware right okay this is that's all i hope you can able to understand